Hi, I'm Margie Zessinger, one of the head coaches here at the IMG Voluntary Tennis Academy. I'm standing here with Ashley Dean, one of our players, who's going to help me demonstrate in this five-part video series on court positioning. Court positioning is often overlooked as a coach. We talk about strategy, we talk about where to hit the ball, how to hit the ball, but the basic fundamental of knowing where you are in the court is very important and can often be overlooked. Let's take a look at the serve positioning in this first video. Ashley's going to walk up to the typical spot where you see most servers serve from, which is about two and a half to three feet from the hash mark. The reason we like this area of the court along the baseline when you serve is that it gives you the best angle for all of the three major target areas, which is the out wide serve to the green cone, the body serve to the blue cone, as well as the T serve to the yellow cone. Okay. This disguises all three serves. The returner has a hard time recognizing which serve placement Ashley is going to hit. But also understand that standing here disguises the serve, but you want to recognize as a server what your strength is and what the returner's weaknesses are. So you base your positioning on that as well. So let's say Ashley's serve out wide is one of her strengths. You'll see her typically stand a little bit more to her right on the out wide on the deuce side. By serving here, you get a better angle to the placement, but you also want to be aware that you're giving up the disguise factor. The returner is going to recognize that you're more likely to go out wide on the serve, as well as it gives them an opening to hit their return down the line. So as a server, be ready to cover the open court. It's important to recognize your strengths as a server, but it's also important to recognize the returner's weaknesses. Let's say Ashley's playing and her opponent has a weaker backhand on the deuce side here. She might want to move over closer to the tee and serve to the yellow cone. By standing here closer to the tee, she gets a better angle at the tee serve to the yellow cone. However, she is giving up the disguise factor. So standing typically two and a half to three feet is the most common what players use, but you also see them use other options by standing a little bit further out wide or closer to the tee. That concludes our video on serve positioning. Now I'm going to cover another important aspect, the return of serve positioning. How to make adjustments if the server has a strength or weakness.